Hey, hello guys. How are you? Well, you're not supposed to see me. <laughs> well, bad enough. The feeling is in neutral because I am happy to see you. Okay, so I'm Jennifer and this is Cryptic. Welcome to another learning session with us and this still another because you go verbal aptitude test three the 24th edition yeah the 24th edition so i um before we go on i wanted to ask is there really an, an um i don't know a most embarrassing moment that you'd like to share <laughs> i mean we've all had our embarrassing moments in school and um i'm not gonna say mine i know you want to talk about mine i'm not going to talk about it not yet let me know what you think about <laughs> not know what you think let me know your experience i would really 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 be glad to read the comments your comments about your most embarrassing period or time or moment in school okay so having said that please i look forward to reading all your comments all of them and I'm going to talk about that and then I'm going to talk about mine. So, but before we get on to what we have to learn today, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It is very important that you do. And then, you, you know what goes with it, right? I mean, you know what goes comes. You know what comes with it, right? Access to Stable Life and the Best of Earth Festivals and all those, all those, all those exciting learning bonuses. On the way, you should click the subscription button. Try to do it and see. All right, so having said that, don't forget to like and comment as well. Okay, it's important that you like. Mm -hmm. Help purpose grow while we help you grow. So please like while you subscribe and then comment. So I always say, let's know what you think about purpose and let's know what your educational concerns are. And then show their friends and family. Yeah, friends and family. Friends and family. And uh, that's it. That's it. All right, I'm gonna go. <laughs> yeah. What's up? How do I ever keep forgetting this? Well, you can now join us on WhatsApp at bit.ly slash plus WhatsApp. Yeah, it's that easy. All you have to do is yeah, type in those those, those things to see that you send them in and deal with us and you join us on WhatsApp. All right, so that is it, and uh, let's get on with our sixth question. Was sword 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 right sword draws pool and what? So how did they form these words? How was sword formed from um, from what? Okay, I think sword is just um. From the back, right? Yeah, picking the letters from the back. So our options are A loop, B pole, C loot, D spoon, and E two. Okay, so they form your words by placing the letters from the back. Oh, no genius. Who <laughs> else thought so? No, I thought alone. <laughs> I thought so. Okay, that is turning the given word backwards. Now, in Paul, we'll pick from the last letter down to the first letter. So we'll have Lou. So, okay, or we'll start picking L, then O, then the other O, and then the P. So our answer is Lou. So Lou is pull from the back. Okay, so we have an option A, Lou. All right, so our seventh question. We have plump, limb, stunt, tent. Study and what? Well, this looks a little, um, I don't know, a little more complex, right? Looks like um, we're gonna have to think deeper. Deeper. All right, our options are A. Dolly, B. Tidy, C. Tardy, D. Ditty, and E. Tiny. All right, so from your words here, we will move the first letter of each word and replace the third letter of each word with I. Okay, <laughs> it was easier than I thought. Oh, yeah, 
Those is the nice dot. Okay, so all we have to do is we remove our first letter and then we replace the third letter with I. So in study, we. What's that what they did in plum? Okay, yeah, they removed P and so had long remaining and then they removed U and replaced it with I. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 that's it. That's link. Okay, link. All right, so here in study, we remove S. Okay, we remove S. Then we replace U, which is the third letter, with I. And so when we remove S and replace U with I, we have tidy. Okay, so our answer is tidy. Remove S and replace U with I. And you'll have tidy. And that is option B, tidy. Okay, our eighth question, stall and tail, small and male, still and what? A, late, B, late, C, tilt, D, tail, E, tile. Here to find your words, the first letter is removed and the fourth letter is also removed but replaced with E. Okay, so we remove the first letter totally and then we replace the fourth letter with E. So when we remove the first letter, okay, install, let's look at stall, let's start with stall. So when we remove the first letter, we have just tall, right? When we remove S, we have tall. And then when we remove the L, which is the uh, fourth letter, and replace it with E, we have tail, right? Yeah, tail. So we do the same thing here. And for still, we remove S and we have tail. And then we remove the last L and replace it with E, we have time. So that's how we got time. T I L E, time. Oh, wow. What was that? That's, that, that, that required a lot of brainstorming. What do you think? What do you think? You really did require a lot of brainstorming. Okay, so the answer is. Tile, and we have an option E, tile. All right, our ninth, okay, maybe not ninth yet. So here we have instructions on section B. Each of the following items consists of five words, let's label A to E. One of the words is a general term which describes what the other four are. Okay, so we basically have to pick out the option that describes the rest. Okay, so we have, for example, here we have 6, 10, number 12, and 20. So all these are numbers, so we'll go with number. 6, 10, 12, and 20 are numbers, so we'll go with number. All right, so here, number 9, we have A, yellow, B, blue, C, brown, D, color, and E, white. So the generic term for the mentioned option below is color. The general term for the mentioned options of well is color because they're all types of colors. Okay, so option D: yellow, blue, brown, and white are colors. So they're generally they're generally referred to as color. Okay, our tenth question: we have Lagos, Tokyo, City, London, and Freetown. All right. The mentioned options are all names of the business uh, of the central business district of various states and countries. So the general term for all of them is city. Now I hope you know that the city of a place or a country or a state is the central business district district of that place. Okay? So Lagos, um, Lagos, Tokyo, London, and Freetown are all Central business district of the various countries and the states. So our answer is city. They're all cities. And we have an option C, city. Yeah, city. So it means we're done. <laughs> okay, no, city doesn't mean done. Like, that's not the literal meaning. And what I was trying to say is we've come to the end of this learning session. And I know, I know that was a nice way to end the video. Oh my God. Can you suggest to me how best I could end a video? I mean, in the learning session, perhaps make it more 
And you know, make it catchy, make it more interesting. What do you think? Please drop in your comments. I would need to know how, uh, what you think about how best I should amend my lens paint with you. Mm -hmm. So you don't get to click to the next channel or I even say bye. <laughs> so please drop in your comments. Let me know what you think. And um, once again, it was beautiful, beautiful learning with you guys. And I look forward, I always, I always look forward to learning more with you in the future. Until then, stay safe, stay good, study hard, that's cool. And uh, look purpose proud, proud. Look purpose, perplexed. The rest of the class. No, but let's say for class. Be purpose proud. Reach out to us. Let's know how we can help. Okay, so take care. Bye.